Welcome to part two of teaching your toddler to ski. Today we're going to talk about gear. What you need and why it's important. And if you missed our first video, we will link it in the description box below. And that one is about why you should teach your toddler how to ski, what the benefits are of doing that at such a young age. And you can also check out our third video, which we will link in the description box. And that is about how, what you should actually do when you're out on the slopes with them. So let's dive into the gear. So the number one most important piece of gear, in our opinion, is a helmet. Um, we never ski without helmets, even as adults, and especially for young toddlers, their, their skulls are still forming, their minds are obviously still forming. Definitely you need to protect their heads um, with a full helmet. Um, and we'll show you the examples of Clara and Bryce's helmets. We also are huge proponents of us. Like we said, we always wear helmets, but we're in particular very attuned to wearing helmets when we're skiing with our kids because we want to model that behavior to them. We don't want them to think like, well, once I'm bigger, I don't have to wear it. Um, working under the assumption that our kids are going to get better and better at skiing as we are and as they get older. Um, yeah, we just want to make sure that we're being safe. So that's number one piece Sim of gear. Simply put, you know, helmets need to be cool. So that's what we want. We want yeah. to show that we like helmets. Yeah. If patient. we're cool. Yeah. Then they'll be cool. So, um, <laughs> what I'll say is that we, we really like the, um, gyro helmets. Um, so both Katie and I have, uh, gyro helmets. We both yep. bought both the kids gyro helmets. Things that we like is that, um, down to youth sizes, they carry all the way down to extra small. They have an adjustment in the back um, for even the smaller heads. So all the way down to our two-year-old or I guess he's what now? One and a half year old. Yeah, Bryce yeah. at one and a half was wearing the extra small. And yeah. Clara, we bought, I believe they have like an extra small, small slash small. small. So yeah. that's what we bought for her. Um, and that's still fitting her really well. It fit her last ski season and this one now that she turned three. Yeah, but I can say that these are Highly recommended, highly rated, uh, but these are these are great. So number two most important piece of gear are the skis and their boots. And I'll let Steven speak to this because you did some great research and I think found ones that fit them really well. Yeah, so obviously when you buy skis, you know, the kids are growing like weeds, so they're they're gonna grow out of skis pretty quick. So you wanna buy something that's within kind of their ability range that they can grow into it and use them for a couple of years before they are ready to transition out. What we found were these eco skis. Um, they're 80 centimeters long. We found 80 centimeters to be about the perfect length for our two and three year old. Uh, so we like these a lot. Um, Bryce has been out on them a couple of times and you know really what you know some of the first things that you're looking for them to be able to do is just to even stand up you know with skis on. So he took to these pretty quick and um, so we're pretty happy. The other ones we've had for two years now, um, these are the Rosignol Princess skis. Um, these are also 80 centimeters, so once again, we started Clara when she was two years old, she's now three. Uh, we see these lasting at least through this season, probably even through one more season before she's ready to grow out to a slightly larger pair. So both of these have been great uh, and so I, I would highly recommend them. Our kids are also, if this is helpful, they're kind of probably in the 80% um, height range for their age. Um, so 80 centimeter skis, 80 percentile height, just in case that's useful as you're trying to decide what size to get. Okay, so next, what's gonna ground the kids to the skis are your ski boots. So the ski boots that we found um, that worked really well in their sizes were these DeBello skis, uh, DeBello brand skis. And when you look for ski boots, um, they're always measured in Mondo size. So finding the appropriate Mondo size for a toddler can be challenging. What we found were about 16 to 16 and a half Mondo size was right for our kids. Um, Bryce has a slightly larger foot than Clara does. Um, so I think Clara's were, were 15.5. 15, 15 and a half. Bryce's is a 16 and a half. Um, these usually, I think, will last about two seasons before they're ready to grow out of them. So we do buy them a hair big, uh, but they have ski socks. Um, so those 
are also pretty big, mm -hmm. take up a little bit of extra room. So like the 16 and a half Mondo equates to an eight in the USA child size uh, boots. And our son is probably currently wearing like a seven size yeah. shoe seven. So hopefully next winter he'll still be able to wear these. So obviously you're going to need a ski coat ski uh, jumpsuit pants mm -hmm. um, so like a snow snow pants or a snow suit and a really warm winter coat those are all really important underneath that it doesn't really matter I would say just like maybe not jeans you should wear stretchy comfortable clothes long sleeve pants long sleeve shirt and um, they're also going to need some ski socks which what brand did we, we usually use Burton Burton okay yeah mm -hmm. or I know that we've probably bought some camel oh no that's not camelback what is it Oh, um, um, the wool ones. Smart wool. Smart wool. So we've used smart wool and we've used Burton ski socks for toddler size and that's worked out really nicely. You just want socks that are thick and that go almost all the way up their shin. Yeah. So the next tool that we have, um, and we found these to be really useful, are the wedgies. So these are useful. Little... Well, this can't be understated. Yeah. <laughs> the wedgies are the reason why we can take our toddler skiing. If you skimp on any piece of gear, like you could get used skis, you could get used boots, you can, um, you know, <clears throat> kind of not have to spend a lot on other things. But this, what twenty dollar piece of technology, yep. is a lifesaver. This is the only reason you can take a one or a two year old out to the slopes, or even a three year old. Um, the other kind of unique piece of equipment that we use for our little kids um, is Lucky Bums Backpacks. Um, we really love this. Basically, it's this handle on the back. Um, you're going to have to probably lower it a little bit. Yeah, like, there you go. Um, so this handle on the back is really brilliant. Um, you essentially clip this, their arms, um, these go together like this. And then the arm goes in this way and it just snaps together like this. Um, on their uh, chest and then the nice thing is you can open this backpack up and inside here are some nice thick well-made tethers and so you can um, clip these to the front of their of their little um, pack so it'll be right on their chest there are these two little um, holes and so you can clip the tethers on like that and you can be behind your child while they're skiing and that has been um, this having those tethers that's the reason why we can go on slightly longer slopes and kind of get off the bunny hill which is really nice so thanks so much for watching um, please subscribe if you like what you see also check out the description box below we'll have links to all the gear that we showed uh, so you can potentially get your own Yes, and make sure you check out part one of this video series on why you should teach your toddler how to ski and part three, which is how to teach your toddler to ski. Yeah.